Hi, I'm Kim Kiyosaki. I'm also known as the Queen of Cash Flow. And I want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Keys to the Cash Flow Game. Today, what I want to talk to you about is the most important piece of the cash flow game. Because most people think it's the board game is where all the learning happens. Well, yes, a lot of learning happens there, but the big takeaway, a lot of the education and learning that happens also happens on the score sheet. And the scorecard is your financial statement. And here's what's so important about this financial statement is that in the world of money, in the world of investing, in the world of business, there's three main financial statements. First one is an income statement, also known as a P&L. And an income statement records a period of time of money coming in and money going out. So oftentimes it's done on a monthly basis. So you have your monthly income, all the income that comes in and all the expenses that flow out. But then there is the balance sheet. And the balance sheet is just a snapshot in time and a balance sheet tells you what assets you have and what liabilities you have. So according to the world of Rich Dad, an asset is something that puts money in your pocket whether you work or not. So unfortunately, my watch here where the banker would say it's an asset, Rich Dad says, no, it's not an asset unless I sell it and get some money for it. But right now I'm not selling my watch. So that is not an asset, but rental properties, stocks, dividends, things like that, things that put money in your pocket, businesses that throw off cash flow, those are assets and that gets recorded in your balance sheet. The liabilities then are, could be the loans that you take out on your properties or loans you take out on your businesses. The third statement, which is very, very exciting, of course, for me, is the statement of cash flow. And the statement of cash flow is just that. It's cash flowing in and cash flowing out. So what's important in the cash flow game and what's important on this financial statement is we have combined all three. And the purpose for combining all three is to show you the relationship between these three statements and how the money flows between all of them. So for most people, they don't look at all three statements. If they look at any statement at all, they're looking at their income statement because all they see is income coming in and expenses going out. But if you're an investor or you're a business owner, you've got to pay attention to all three. If you're an investor and you're buying properties or you're buying businesses and you're taking out loans, that's going to show up in your balance sheet. And the statement of cash flow shows you specifically where the cash is flowing on a regular basis. So it's really, really important to look at all three and look at the relationship between all three. So for example, what's the relationship between an income statement and a balance sheet? Well, if you have assets that are providing cash flow that are listed in your asset column, that cash flow is going to flow from your balance sheet into your income column of your income statement. So if you have loans on your rental property, if you have loans on your business, the main loan will sit here in your liability, but every month it's going to be an expense on your expense column. And your statement of cash flow is going to give you what I think is the most important thing of all, which is going to show you at the end of every month, do you have positive cash flow? Do you have negative cash flow? Or do you have no cash flow? And in the game cash flow, the purpose to get out of the rat race and onto the fast track is to acquire cash flow that is greater than your living expenses. That's it. That's why the statement of cash flow is so important because it's from the statement of cash flow that will determine when you become financially free. So again, the importance of this financial statement is it shows you the relationship between the income statement, the balance sheet, and the statement of cash flow. What could be really, really cool to do is to use this, this financial statement, once you've played the game a few times, and put in your own numbers. Play the game using your real life numbers because man, that'll be a reality check. And that's a first step in figuring out, here's where I am today. This is the truth. This is where I am today and by doing that, you can then determine what you need to do to get out of your own rat race and onto your own fast track in life. So go find a cash flow club near you because you know what? You're going to learn a lot 
but you're gonna have a lot of fun in the process. Enjoy it. If you like these videos, please click on the subscribe button or hit the notification bell so you'll have access to more videos of Keys to the Cashflow Game and start playing cash flow in real life. Thank you.